Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to bring you this Piaggio, the MP3 400, in this case the Sport version. It's an upgrade from the previous model, okay? The Piaggio engineers, they, they did uh, whatever they have to do to make it a much better and compliant to the Euro 5 rules. Better performances, more torque, less uh, parasite noise, less vibrations, and the motorcycle, it's very pleasant to ride. As you all know, this is a three-wheel scooter, okay? We got two wheels on the front, one in the rear, and it does have a suspension blocking system, which is the one that I'm using now. As you look, if you look closer, I'm not using a side stand or the central stand. I'm just using the, the locking system to lock the suspension. And if I remove the parking brake, which is this one, I can move the bike back and forward, okay? Without any issues because it will not fall down until I unlock the system. I'm just gonna put the parking again and uh, I'll talk to you about this in a while. We will be able to find this specific model, the 400, in my country in four colors. Uh, I think the 300 and the 500 have less color, in, in four colors, I'm sorry. The 300 and the, the 500 have less colors, but you can find this one in blue, gray, white, and the black model that I have here. And now that I've talked about this, let's see the specs of the motorcycle starting on the front and finishing on the rear. Vocês podem encontrar esta moto em quatro cores, que aqui pelo menos a versão 400, acho que a 300 tem, só tem três e a 500 também acho que são só três cores, que é o, o branco, o azul, o cinza e a preta. E basicamente é esta que eu tenho aqui, que eu tenho aqui comigo, muito elegante. Dito isto, vamos então ver as especificações da moto da frente para trás. So here on the front we do have this windscreen which is big, okay, for the average people. I'm a tall guy, it's not the best height for me. It, it should be a little bit bigger, but it's wide enough to protect my hands a little bit from the wind, so it's a plus. Lights, they are not full LED, only the blinkers and the DRL, which is the, the, running, the lights for the running during the day, they are the only ones that LED. We have an electric hydraulic suspension blocking system with uh, 85 millimeter cores. Oh, we have two discs, one on each wheel, 258 millimeters. ABS, uh, three channels, integrated with the pedal. Alloy uh, rims, the tires are tubeless, 110 slash 70 from Michelin. Taking a closer look at the rear of the motorcycle, we do have this nice seat, which is very, very wide and comfortable, especially for the passenger or for the pillion. The rider, at least for me, my height and my build, it needs to be a little bit, uh, a bit bigger. But the good thing is that we do have really nice storage capacity underneath the seat. I like it very much. Uh, here, everything, it's LED, the blinkers and the lights LED, which is good, better than in the front. Then we have dual hydraulic shock absorber with pre-adjustment of the springs in four positions. One disc, 240 millimeters, aluminum alloy rims, the tires, again, are the tubeless 140 slash 70 for, from Michelin. And the transmission, as, in this, as being a scooter, it's CVT. And the thing that I like, it's this exhaust, which is on this side. Besides being beautiful, it does have a really nice sound. Let's talk a little bit about the, the engine. We are talking about the engine, which has 399 cc's. One cylinder, liquid cool four stroke and basically it has 35.3 uh, horsepower at 7000 rpm 37 newtons at 5500 rpm which basically means uh, that it has 10 increase of 10 percent of power and an increase of 30 percent in torque which basically uh, it's uh, what ha what happens with all these new motorcycles that are compliant with euro 5 where they to complement something, they give you more torque starting from the lower RPMs and this one is no exception. The good thing is that you have a more comfortable and more pleasurable ride on this model and I do appreciate this new Euro 5 rules. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the handlebar and the dashboard. So we do have these mirrors here, 
which the, they are nice, 90% visibility, they don't shake too much, uh, very easy to, to adjust. On this left side, we have the brake. This is a scooter, okay, it's not a, it's a clutch, it's a brake here. High beams, low beams, passing lights. Then we have the blinkers, which they don't blink. They only blink in one position on the dashboard, which is something I don't like. We have a horn and you have a button which changes information uh, on the dash on the dashboard. Uh, moving on to the other side. Again, we have the kill switch here on the top. We have this button here to control the, the suspension. Uh, I forgot the name of the, the system, but you, you, you engage it and disengage it with this button here. And then we have the mode button and the ignition button. Basically, that's all. The, and of course, and you have the other brake here on this side. Uh, then we have some several buttons here down on the on the fairings, which uh, it's hazard lights, the ASR, which is anti-slip system which basically is a uh, traction control we have a button to open the the seat which is nice you, do, you don't need the ignition there with the keys and then you have the ignition where you do put the key to uh, start the motorcycle well the ignition it's the thing that I don't like okay it's in the place that uh, it's not showing too much it's hidden but it's not a very easy access and on that ignition besides connecting the motorcycle you can either open the the seat and open the fuel cap so you can put fuel on the on your motorcycle of course and then we do have the dashboard analog analog and digital in the middle and on the left side we do have the speed and the fuel level uh, middle we have a digital information where we have the temperature we have a clock we have the speed and then underneath we have the odometer and we can change between trip a and trip b using this button here and then this one should be reset on the right side we have the rpms and the engine temperature and basically all the information that you need to ride a, a scooter on your everyday commute we do have here the christmas lights where there's a, where's everything it is the high beams, the low be the the blinkers, uh, ASR, the ABS, everything on the top, and then we have another one on the bottom, which basically has the information of this uh, the system for the suspension, if, if it is engaged or not, and you have the information if the the park it is on or off. And uh, I forgot to mention since I talked about the park, we do have a knob here to engage the park, and we do have a hook here for uh, your groceries so you can go shopping without any issues and the fuel cap it's down there uh, between your feet which is uh, which is not nice and very easy to access without uh, any major issues okay and now that we saw the handlebar and the dashboard i just forgot to mention one little detail we do have a storage compartment on underneath the dashboard which basically you have two compartments left and right and the middle you do have a USB uh, socket where you can charge uh, a phone or whatever you need to charge. I mentioned the motorcycle, it has a three-channel ABS, but it also has the ASR, which is acceleration slip uh, regulator, which basically means it has traction control. And the good thing about this motorcycle or scooter is that uh, you can ride it with uh, your license for car, okay? You don't need this uh, motorcycle license to ride this, this one because it's not because of the, the two front wheels it's basically because of the pedal or the brake pedal that it has on the right side that gives it a special category that uh, enables you to ride it with uh, your driver's traditional car driver's license okay seat height 790 millimeters so it will be very easy to go on top of the motorcycle and coming out and reaching the floor there is no problems uh, with that so i'm not even gonna demonstrate and on, uh, between our feet we do have 13.5 liter fuel tank which basically gives you 280 to 300 kilometers range so I'm going to put 280 so you can have the last 20 kilometers to find the next gas station so you can fill it up and keep enjoying the motorcycle as it is because it is very fun talking about fun let's see how it behaves on the road 
let's talk a little bit about riding this uh, MP3, the 400. For me, it's the, the one that I would choose between the 300, the 400 and the 500 because it's the good balance between uh, performance and uh, what I need for my everyday commute, okay? You do have storage, it, it, uh, it can go speeds on 130, 140 without big issues. Uh, the consumption is around 4 liters, so it is normal for a motorcycle which is this heavy so I do not complain uh, and I do like the way uh, it handles uh, let's start here the windscreen I, I would need a bigger one okay I'm a tall guy uh, but the, this one here for shorter people works perfectly uh, but I have to talk to you about my conditions and if if, uh, if I if it was mine why I would change it because I do I do feel that uh, it is a little bit short but it's wide enough to protect some of the winds to go out from your hands so it is really really cool I do I do like it uh, we do have the riding position it's a standard riding position for a scooter your legs go 90 degrees uh, you can move the left leg a little bit front but the right one you cannot because you have the pedal brake down there so you are stuck with with the leg in one position uh, and you do not want to ride uh, the motorcycle with uh, your feet all the time on the on the brakes okay it's not uh, the perfect <laughs> the perfect way you'll start complaining that you have to changing brakes sooner than uh, you expect uh, but basically uh, the ride is the ride is smooth i do like it we do have the two wheels on the front that give you a little bit more uh, comfort and confidence especially on those uh, roads which have which are in bad conditions uh, especially if you go to the middle of Lisbon where it's the the roads are those old roads with rocks and everything and you have the tracks for the the train and everything this one will give you a little bit more security but uh, it needs time or you need time to adapt to riding with two wheels okay it's not difficult I'm not saying that you need one month, okay? You need one, a couple of days to adapt to the to the riding, to the way the the motorcycle leans. Uh, it's a little bit different from the traditional, uh, but it is nothing that it will uh, be uh, something that can scare you or whatever. It is very smooth, and the 300 and the 400 and the 500, uh, you can ride it without the motorcycle's license exactly because we have the braking pedal down there uh, it is not considered a motorcycle uh, it has other designation uh, at least in the in my in my country okay that allows me to ride this uh, motorcycle without the motorcycle license which is why many people uh, look for this solution because it is a good solution uh, for the everyday commute you can go uh, fast, you can go slow, uh, you can enjoy the middle of the traffic without any issues. I, when I was doing the Portuguese review, I was following the convoy of motorcycles to come to work. The seat, it's, uh, it's comfortable enough, okay? It's a scooter, it is comfortable for a scooter, but again, I'm a tall guy, I would need uh, a wider seat uh, and bigger seat because I do think it is short on the front, uh, and that's the only thing that uh, I can say about this seat. Maybe the 500 has a better seat or a bigger seat, I don't know. Uh, I haven't tried the 500. So we'll wait uh, and see. Maybe I will have the chance for that. Uh, also, maybe I can try the 300. I'm still waiting to know if I will have the 300. Uh, okay, let me, as, I can, as you can see here now, here I'm showing, I'm splitting lanes and no issues. Do I have the blinkers? Yes, I have the blinkers on. And it behaves like a normal uh, motorcycle. The dimensions are exactly the same as a normal motorcycle. The only big, the only big difference is you have two tires or two wheels on the front, and uh, it takes just a little bit of adaptation. Having said this, guys, I really hope that you like this uh, review. Don't forget my partnership with CarTrack, the GPS tracker for your motorcycles. There's a link down in the description that offers the first month free. It only works in my country, which is Portugal, but if you know anyone in my country, please let them know about this uh, 
this partnership and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel click the notification bell follow my other networks and i really hope i can see you in the next one bye